Hey everybody, this is John with Gyps Paranormal, and today I would like to kick off the new year by saying Happy New Year to everyone. It's the birth year of 2016, and I would like to kick off the year with a informational video that I wanted to do for many months now, and I haven't had the time, but I finally have the time. Um, I wanted to just briefly go over what digital voice recorders I would personally use on an investigation and what I would prefer for you if you are just starting out. Now, the three recorders that you see sitting here are all from Walmart. Um, many people think, oh, you have to go on to all these professional uh, paranormal ghost hunting equipment websites to get every piece of equipment when really you can find them in your own backyard. Um, now, I do have a favorite out of these three, and it is this one. This is a Sony model. Um, it has a port jack, if you look right here, on the side to plug into your computer. And it also has a mini micro SD card jack to where you can put that in there. And then you can put all your files that you're going to record during an investigation on that SD card. Um, it has a menu. I think all these... All these are dead. I haven't been on an investigation since pff, summer, but uh, um, uh, everything's basic. Honestly, it's one of the best recorders I've personally ever used, and I fully recommend it for everyone who is starting out and/or if you've been investigating for many years. It's something that I think everyone should have, and yet you just need to look for the right model. See, it even has like volume control, noise cut. I use this recorder um, when I'm doing voiceovers for videos. So, if you're looking to do that, if you're just looking for a new audio piece of equipment, this is the way to go if you don't want to go expensive. This was, I think, $55 at Walmart. And this is the cheapest one, other than the one right there that I found. Uh, the one beside it, it's also a Sony, but it's a gray, it's a gray model. Um, it's basically the same exact thing as the one in the middle, but it doesn't have that jack to where you can put it into the computer. And if you're going to do videos, where else are you going to put these recordings? You need a jack to put it in the computer, and that's one thing that I... I'm very saddened about this model because these two are my favorite ones, except, again, this one doesn't have the computer jack. But this one, oh, yeah, by the way, this one is, I believe, $45 at Walmart, but it could be the same price as this one. I have, I forget, I got this when I first started investigating in 2010. So, and lastly, this one over here, it's an RCA model. Um, I bought this before this, I believe. And the only reason why I bought it is because it has this little jack right up here to where you can plug it straight into the computer instead of having to use like a like a patch cable like this. But the audio quality on this is horrible. Um, now, I'm a fan of other RCA products, but this one is not one that I am very fond of. Um, the only time I would ever use this is if I was in dire need of a piece of, yeah, of a piece of equipment, of, um, a voice recording, and if I wanted to pick up an EVP. Now, I have gotten EVPs using this. I got one at the Haldeman Mansion, and, um, I believe that both EVPs that came in that, uh, Paranormal Activity at the Haldeman Mansion video came from this recorder. So it's not... I'm not bashing this recorder because it's still a good recorder. That's why I keep it in my arsenal. But I hope that you learn some more about this. I believe this one is $30 at Walmart, but don't count me on it. I Like I said, I got this when I first started, and my fish is saying hello. So um, I hope everyone has a splendid new year, and I look forward to seeing more from everyone. So, from, furthermore, from Gyps Paranormal, I am John Covey, and I will talk with everyone again later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.